So we have like a club and then we have a team. Yeah, okay. And they kind of are together. Also, we do like everything together and then the mm -hmm. team just shows and the team rides together and uh -huh. then competes. And, and it says that you won uh, a ribbon of some form in every category. What are the categories of that one as well and what ribbons have you won? Yeah, so um, we've won pretty much every, like first to six. Mm -hmm. um, someone has throughout the season and so the divisions are open which is your um, highest level of competing is there's open equitation on over fences and so then that's when you're competing over a course of eight or so jumps and then there's open on the flat which is where you're asked to trot walk trot canter um, sitting trot extended canter yeah, so the open equitation is definitely the most difficult and challenging um, division that you can compete in in the IHSA circuit. Um, and so there's open IHSA equitation over fences, which is where a rider would compete over a course of about eight jumps. Mm -hmm. And then there's open equitation on the flat, which is when you're asked to do walk trot canter, um, sitting trot, extended canter, uh, tests such as that. Mm -hmm. And then from there it goes down um, in height of fences mm -hmm. to intermediate, and then they do intermediate over fences and intermediate flat. Mm -hmm. And then again, the height of the fences goes down for novice over fences and novice flat. And then there's classes mm -hmm. um, just that are flat. So there's a walk chalk canter class for beginners, a normal walk chalk canter class, and a walk chalk class. Mm -hmm. So then I have to ask you as well because you brought up the uh, levels of skill. Mm -hmm. So what skill would you need in order to join your club? You can have any skill level. Mm -hmm. So we need some that have only ridden for a certain amount of weeks. What's the? I believe it's um, if you had formal lessons for less than six weeks, you qualify to ride and walk trot. Yeah. Because they don't want like someone with a lot of experience going into walk yeah, trot. Yeah, I can see that one. Yeah, so it's like really nice how they have everything laid out. It's really fair. You have to do a placement mm -hmm. form for what level you're going to be so in. So for the club, we have people that have never sat on a horse before yeah. and never been around horses and that they're welcome to join. So mm -hmm. there's no experience necessary at all. So regardless if you were born on a horse, if you've never seen a horse, you're yeah. welcome? Yeah. We, awesome. yeah, we have we have riders that have literally never taken a lesson before in their life, mm -hmm. and then we have riders who have shown competitively on the AAA circuit th for mm -hmm. their whole life. So a respectable one, but a very important one. So what would you guys say is the main quality slash uh, characteristic of your club as in spirit? Um. I would say hardworking and dedicated. Yeah. Like every single person that's on the team and in the club, mm -hmm. they're just so dedicated and passionate about horses and passionate about bettering their riding skills. So it's really awesome. Yeah, like yes, riding is like an individual sport, but it takes mm -hmm. a team to lift everyone up and see improvement. And mm -hmm. you can't do it alone. And also, like we have such an amazing coach who has dedicated his heart and soul into getting us up and running mm -hmm. yeah. and getting us to be the best of our potential. So. Mm -hmm. That is really unique about us. You mentioned some of that are about teamwork. I really, yeah, I read a lot about that on the uh, website that you had. That it mentioned it every now and again. So I really kind of want to ask you about what does teamwork mean for horse riding? Uh, so I think like with teamwork, um, mm -hmm. so riding is like a lot physical, but it's also like a lot of mental mm -hmm. stamina and like mm -hmm. endurance and everything. So you learn a lot from watching other people and having mm -hmm. a good mindset along with like improving physically but most like just watching everything you can learn something from every single person and you need people to lift you up and like you have to be confident mm -hmm. and can't do that without your team <laughs> and, and sportsmanship too like whenever yeah. we're at a competition we're always at the side of the ring cheering on mm -hmm. our teammates whether we got first place or last place we're screaming as loud as we possibly can so <laughs> Yeah, another aspect that I feel about our teamwork is like even though like we're all in different divisions, we all truly want the best for each rider. We never have like, oh, I want to beat them. We want it to be everyone to do the absolute best. So how would you describe the culture? As in like, not when you're riding, but when you're in the stables, you're all done riding, you all get together and say, that was a good job today, yeah. and then you all talk about something. How would you yeah, describe the it's, culture? I mean, it's like a family. <laughs> Family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we said it at the exact same time. Yeah, it's a family. Yeah. I mean, we and we do so much more than just ride and take lessons and horse show. Like we do fundraisers and we do outreach activities and um, like just even now we're tabling doing a bake sale and we do like a bunch of team bonding and stuff like that. So it's way more than just on the horse. It's like actually a family off the horse as well. After every show, we meet as a whole group with our coach and everything and we go over exactly what we did, what we did wrong, what we can improve, and then we laugh at each other about what we've done. Like it's a big like just to see where we can improve and have fun while we learn.
I was just going to say, I've met so many friends throughout the club, and it's like outside of the club, I still hang out with them. Great relationship with Uh So, what plans do you have for the club moving up? I mean, you already got 20 members, but where yeah. are you going to go from here? So, I guess our goal for next year is to have at least 15 to 20 show members. Mm -hmm. So, right now we only have 11, so we want to expand that show team um, so we can start definitely working harder as a team um, and getting a lot more. Um, publicity for the team um, and then as far as our club definitely growing the club yeah we want to make to regional zones nationals um, yeah I mean we, we would love to eventually be D3 recognized I mean we've mm -hmm. only been up and running for two years this is our first year ever competing so I think our like long-term goal would definitely to be to be recognized as a varsity sport through Clarkson. So what would D3 horse riding be like? I have to ask. It would be exactly the same. It would just be like technically a team. Because right now, if like you go under athletics at Clarkson, we're not an official D3 but recognized varsity sport. But we would do the exact same thing. And getting a barn would be awesome too with our own horses. Because right now we're just using our trainers' horses and stuff. So But that is a really cool aspect of how we've come the way we've come like we've only been a club for one year and then we became a varsity team and we are seen to all these other schools just like a d3 varsity sport like the only thing clarkson sees us as a club but in the show ring they see us completely equal as if we were recognized i think to add to that like that's growing the team but then growing the club as well we'd want to incorporate a lot more people that maybe aren't interested in riding or not or competitively and just Increasing everyone's knowledge of good horsemanship and mm -hmm. anything that they want to learn. So like you kind of mentioned it more of animal care or horse mm -hmm. care yes. specifically, and more uh, logistical things on like how to be a coach and how to be other things for horse riding. Yeah, I know um, we have like some Zombies. members that are like pre vet, so they get involved in our club and they don't ride, but mm -hmm. we can they can come to the barn learn about horse care. Mm -hmm. We can set up clinics with veterinarians, farriers, things like that. So we want to get everyone involved. Anyone that wants to learn about horses is more than welcome. That's interesting.